Hi, thank you for joining us on a Hobby Print How To video. My name is Sandra and today I'm going to show you how to use the Edible Artist software for creating your designs for cake toppers and pre-cut icing sheets. First of all, I've already opened the software here. So we're going to start off by setting up the printer. You'll only have to do this once, after that it will automatically find your printer. So you can see here that from the printers that I have loaded on my computer, I've selected my printer and the default language, which on my case is English. Okay, so with that done, we start creating our designs. So. First of all, because I'm going to show you it from scratch, we're going to go for a new design. You see, on clicking the new design, it will open up all the different templates. Today, I'm going to keep it simple and just use the A4 landscape. You can see there are pre-cut ones all the way down here, circles, etc. But as I say, we'll keep it simple and use the landscape. So that's done, just click finish and there it's selected. You can choose a background for your image at this stage, you can see background menu at this side. Um, just for this process I'm going to put a red one in and you can see everything is red now. Now the next thing we're going to do is to go to pictures. Click on the picture and you can see here you can scan an image in or you can select a picture from your computer. I'm going to select a picture from here already set up so you can see the picture goes straight onto the background. Here you can resize to get the image the size that you want it. All that you do is grab the handles, pull it in both sides, drag it across until you're happy with it. We can close that now, so our picture is set. You can change the frame on the picture, so I click on frame, we'll just select a simple one again. Here, by using the size bar, you can move it to the size that you want. We'll just have a little bit of the background around it, so there, set and we're happy, so we'll close that. We're going to now go to messages, put a message on for our cake and you can see here it says new, new message, your text goes here so we're going to type in here, we'll keep it simple again, this is a cheetah, okay, it would help if I spelt it right, okay, again you can change the size and you can move it wherever you want to on the image. We'll just pop it there at the bottom. At the moment the text is just white but we can choose a colour from here. So just click the next tab. We'll have a solid colour. So you've got your solid ticked. Choose a colour. We'll go for the same red. Okay click next again. At the moment we've got a black round the text. We're going to change that to make it all red. You can have whatever colour you want. So you see it's taken the black off. Click next again. Now here you can actually have a binding box around it so you could have square or you could have rounded. We'll remove it. We'll just keep it without a box on. Again, we can underline it, we can make it bold or we can change it to italics. If you were using a circle for a cake, you can put the text above on the circle or below on the circle or just keep it as the line. On this occasion we're keeping it as the line. You can put two lots of text on, you'd have to just go back to the text again and put a new one on there so you could have text at the bottom and at the top. 
So once we're happy with all of that, close. So now we're ready to print. If we click print, you see our settings are already set in, so we click properties and we want to do a photo print because we want a decent print on our cake. You can select your media type, we'll just select glossy photo paper and we want high quality. So you would then click OK to print. We're not going to print it so we will just close that. If you want to save the design so you can use it again or print it again at a later date, you would just simply click Save Design. Go to the location where you want to save it to, wherever that may be. Give it a name and save it. So next time if you wanted to use it, you would just be able to click Load Design and just bring in the image that you've done before. I hope that's helped. If there's any other questions, please feel free to message us. Thank you.